At NASA and the European Space Agency, engineers are hoping that 3D printing can help lighten the luggage of spaceflight. They're adapting the 3D inkjet printers so popular on Earth into the portable machine shops of space, capable of printing tools, spare parts, and one day, perhaps, even shelters for space colonists. NASA's 3D print project manager, Nikki Werkheiser, and her team at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama, are testing a model that prints out bricks and girders using imitation Martian sand as an ink. Engineers at the European Space Agency are exploring ways to use lunar dust instead of ink to print out an entire moon base station. And on a recent trial run, they mixed simulated lunar dust with magnesium oxide and binding salts to make massive building blocks weighing one and a half tons each. Now the 3D printing concept is taking tangible shape in space, with the first objects printed in the microgravity of low Earth orbit. Aboard the International Space Station last December, astronaut Barry Wilmore printed out a ratchet wrench. An engineer at Made in Space Incorporated, based in Moffettfield, California, designed it on Earth and emailed the required computer code. Captain Wilmore then printed the tool on the company's experimental 3D printer, especially designed for microgravity. It took about three hours. The spaceflight analysts say the plastic wrench is a milestone in microgravity manufacturing that could transform the logistics of space exploration. Made in Space is now testing a more advanced version of their printer capable of fashioning parts made of ceramics, composite materials, and high temperature polymer plastics. And like the European Space Agency, they're also experimenting with an ink made from simulated moon dust. They say it's like printing with powdered sugar. Many scientists agree that all this technology is still very experimental. But if all goes as planned, one day a 3D printer may well be in the carry-on bag of every solar system traveler.